So, welcome back again students to another video lesson. So, ito na po yung ating last video lesson for grade 9 mathematics quarter 2. So, after nating mapag-aralan yung concepts ng radicals, radical expressions, radical equations, so, i-apply po natin yung mga napag-aralan natin yun sa pag-solve ng word problems involving radicals. So, for our lesson objective, we will solve word problems involving radicals. So, let us have problem number one. An isosceles triangular frame has a measure of 7 square root of 2 meters on its legs and 4 square root of 18 meters on its base. Find the perimeter of the frame. Okay, so we have there uh, the figure isosceles triangle. So, kapag isosceles triangle po, two sides are congruent. So, let's draw an isosceles triangle para makita nyo po siya. So, ito po ang isosceles triangle. So, meron po tayong markings na nilagay to indicate na isosceles triangle po yun na legs, uh, two sides or two legs are congruent. And then, itong nasa ibaba is tinatawag po nating base. So, kung ilalabel po natin yung mga sukat nila, so yung legs po, 7 square root of 2, so ito po siya. So, 7 square root of 2 meters, 7 square root of 2 meters, and then yung base naman niya is 4 square root of 18 meters. Now, paano natin kukunin ang perimeter ng triangular frame na yan? So, gagamitin po natin yung formula ng perimeter ng triangle. So, that is... A plus B plus C. Okay. So, alin man dyan, pwedeng mag A, maging B, maging C. Okay. So, yung A natin, tsaka B, yung sukat ng dalawang legs. So, 7 square root of 2 meters plus 7 square root of 2 meters plus yung base naman, 4 square root of 18 meters. Next, ang gagawin natin, kailangan nating i-simplify yung square root of 18. So, meron po kasing factor yung square root of 80, ay yung 18 na perfect square, which is 9. So, ang gagawin natin, sulat lang ulit natin, 7 square root of 2 meters plus 7 square root of 2 meters plus 4 square root of 9 times Ayan, express natin yung factors ng 18 na may perfect square which is 9. And then, pwede natin i-add muna yung 7 square root of 2 at 7 square root of 2. That is 14 square root of 2 meters plus 4 times the square root of 9 is 3. And then, square root of 2 meters. Next, Simplify natin 14 square root of 2 meters plus the product of 4 and 3 is 12. So, 12 square root of 2 meters. And then, pwede na natin silang i-add since uh, like radicals naman sila. So, 14 plus 12 is 26. So, the perimeter of the isosceles tri triangular frame is 26 square root of 2 meters. So, next problem, the length and width of a rectangular garden are 6 square root of 5 meters and 9 square root of 20 meters, respectively. Find the perimeter and the area of the garden. So, dalawa po yung hinihingi ng ating given problem. Yung perimeter, tsaka area ng garden. So, dun muna tayo sa perimeter. So, yung formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals 2L plus 2 width. So, yung P yung perimeter, L is length, and W is width. So, yung length po natin dito is 6 square root of 5. So, let natin dito, L is equal to square, 6 square root of 5 meters. And then, yung width naman natin is 9 square root of 20 meters. Now, we just simply substitute. P is equal to 2 times the measure of the length 
of the garden, 6 square root of 5 meters plus 2 times the measure of the width, 9 square root of 20 meters. So, P is equal to 2 times 6 square root of 5 is equal to 12 square root of 5 meters. And then, plus 2 times 9, 18 square root of 20 meters. Next, P is equal to 12 square root of 5 meters. So, kung makakita nyo, yung radical natin, 5 tsaka 20. Pero, pwede natin isimplify yung 20 na may factor po kasi siya ng perfect square, which is 4. So, magiging 18 square root of 4 times 5 sa nun. And then, kukunin natin square root ng 4, magiging 2. So, lalabas po yung sagot, matitira na lang po 5. So, isimplify natin, 12 square root of 5 meters plus 18 times 2, yung square root ng 4, square root of 5 meters. Next, P is equal to 12 square root of 5 meters plus 18 times 2, 36 square root of 5 meters. And then, i-add lang natin, 12 plus 36 is 48. So, 48 square root of 5 meters. So, yun po ang ating perimeter. So, yung area naman sa susunod na slide. So, yung area naman ng ating garden. So, A is equal to length times width or LW. So, A is equal to length which is 6 square root of 5 meters times uh, yung width natin, 9 square root of 20 meters. And then, i-multiply lang natin yung dalawang uh, sukat na yan. So, 6 square root of 5 times 9 square root of 20. So, 6 times 9 is 54. And then, square root of 5 times uh, square root of 20 is square root of 100. And then, since area ang pinag-uusapan natin, meters times meters is square meters. And then, isisimplify natin yung square root of 100. So, 54 times square root of 100 is 10 square meter. So, and then, multiply lang natin, 54 times 10 is 540. So, the area of the rectangular garden is 540 square meters. Next, problem number 3. The square root of the sum of two consecutive integers is 5. Find the smallest number. Okay, so intindihin natin yung number problem na yan. So, the square root of the sum of two consecutive integers is 5. So, lista muna natin yung two consecutive integers. So, kapag sinabi natin consecutive, magkasunod. So, let x be the first number. And then, x plus 1 naman be the second number. So, since uh, consecutive sila, so, yan po yung representation. So, x tsaka x plus 1. So, next, paano natin ipoform yung equation? So, the square root of the sum of the two consecutive integers is 5. So, magiging ganito siya. The square root of x plus x plus 1 equals 5. And then, simplify natin. So, x plus x is 2x plus 1 equals 5. And then, we square both sides para mawala yung radical symbol. So, magiging 2x plus 1 is equal to the square of 5, which is 25. So, sulat natin siya dito. 2x plus 1 is equal to 25. And then, we will subtract 1 to both sides of the equation. So, magiging 2x is equal to 25 minus 1, that is 24. And then, we divide both sides by 2. 
So, the value of x will be 12. So, check natin ang ating naging sagot. So, square root of x plus x plus 1, that is 12 plus 12 plus 1 is equal to 5. And then, we will add 12, 12, and 1. So, 12 plus 12 is 24 plus 1 is 25 equals 5. So, the square root of 25 is 5 equals 5. So, to answer the question, the smallest number is 12, the value of x. And then, kapag largest number naman ang ating uh, tanong, ang sagot natin is 13. Next problem, find two consecutive odd integers such that the square root of their sum is 8. Okay, so dito, two consecutive odd integers ng ating pinag-uusapan. So, consecutive magkasunod, kaya lang odd integers. So, yung mga odd integers, ito yung mga numbers or integers na nag end sa 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Kapag naman, uh, even integers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, yung last digit nila. And then, sa pag-represent naman, in terms of x, yung add integers, tsaka even integers na consecutive, pareho lang po. So, paano natin i-represent -re yun? So, let x be the first number. And then, since consecutive at nga, yung pangalawang number, x plus 2 na siya. So, be the second number. Now, i-represent natin siya using an equation. So, magiging the square root of x plus x plus 2 equals dun sa sum which is 8. And then, simplify natin. Uh, combine like terms, so x plus x plus 2, 2x plus 2 is equal to 8. And then, we square both sides. So, matatanggal po yung radical. So, magiging 2x plus 2 equals 8 squared, that is 64. So, i-rewrite natin dito, 2x plus 2 equals 64. And then, we subtract both sides of the equation by 2. So, magiging 64 minus 2, that is 62. And then, we divide both sides by 2. So, x is equal to 62 divided by 2, 31. So, ito po yung value ng x natin. Next, to check, So, the square root of x plus x plus 2 equals 8. So, yung x natin is 31 plus 31 plus 2 is equal to 8. And then, simply add 31, 31, and 2. The sum is 64 equals 8. Now, the square root of 64 is 8 equals 8. So, ibig sabihin, our value of x, which is 31, is correct. Now, find two consecutive odd integers. So, yung una po nating number is 31. And then, mag-add lang po tayo ng 2 dun sa 31. Lilitaw po yung next na number. So, which is 33. So, yung sagot po sa tanong natin, x is equal to 31 and x is equal to 33. So, our last problem Determine the measure of the hypotenuse of the given right triangle below. So, when we say hypotenuse, this is the longest side of a right triangle. So, dito, dito sa ating figure, sa illustration natin, yung square root of x, yun po yung nagsisilbing hypotenuse ng given right triangle. And then, para po makuha yung mga sukat, like for example, yung legs o kaya naman yung hypotenuse, we will use Pythagorean theorem. So, what is this theorem? So, ang ibig sabihin po ng theorem na ito is the sum of the square of two legs is equal to 
the square of the hypotenuse. So, yung A and B, yun po yung two legs. And then naman, C is yung hypotenuse. So, based dito sa ating illustration, 4 square root of 3, tsaka 2 square root of 13 ang nagsisilbing legs ng right triangle. And then, yung X naman, yung ating hinahanap is yung hypotenuse. Now, paano natin bubuin ang ating equation? So, A squared plus B squared, magiging ganito siya. 4 square root of 3 square plus B squared. Okay? So, ito naman, 2 square root of 13. And then, is equal to yung x square natin. Next. So, yung nakuha nating uh, sagot kanina, isulat lang natin ulit. And then, simplify natin. 4 square root of 3 squared plus the quantity 2 square root of 13 square is equal to the square of x. And then, square natin yung 4 square root of 3. So, 4 times 4 is 16. And then, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Plus, 2 times 2, 4. And then, square root of 13 times square root of 13 is square root of 169 is equal to x square. Next, 16 uh, times square root of 9, so magiging 16 times 3, plus 4 times square root of 169, 13, equals x squared. So, sulat lang natin ulit dito, 16 times 3, 48, plus 4 times 13 is 52, equals x squared. Then, sulat natin, x squared is equal to the sum of 48 and 52, 100. And then, uh, uh, extract the square root. So, maging x is equal to square root of 100. And that is equal to x equals 10 units. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ang sukat ng ating hypotenuse. Now, to check. Square natin both sides. Ah, uh, square natin. So, 4 square root of 3 squared, that is 48, diba? And then, the square of 2 square root of 13 is 52. And then, 10 square is 100. So, 48 plus 52 is 100. Equals 100. Okay, so tandaan po natin, yung hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle. So, hindi po siya pwedeng maging less than nung sukat nung dalawang legs. So, dapat lagi po siyang mataas. So, what's next? So, yung next uh, video lesson natin, quarter 3 video lessons. So, yung lesson po natin for the third quarter has something to do with quadrilaterals. So, abangan po natin kung ano yung mga uh, types of quadrilaterals at kung ano ang lesson na pag-aaralan. So, yun lang po. Maraming salamat.